Good morning guys, as you can see, looks like it's going to be another beautiful day of the day, sun shining, blue skies out. It is now a few minutes to seven, I know what you're thinking to yourself. What you do doing up in a few minutes to seven? Well, the barn works, opens up at seven o'clock. So I want to go there fairly early, see what the crack is about, sort of basically getting a chance to go in and work out while you're here this week. Because obviously, to go a full week without training at all, and just have the camp doing the beach like we did in the previous video that hopefully some of you would have watched, to find silly little things to do just work out a little bit, it isn't my cup of tea you now and yes I would do it just to get some sort of work out done but I'd prefer to go to the gym and, and the summit, now I don't know what the gym's going to be like, I've got no idea, I've never seen any pictures of it or anything, it could literally just be a bunch of cardio stuff but at least it's getting the summit done, so that's where we're going to be heading in a few minutes, it opens at 7, it's a few minutes to 7 now, so it's, it's literally a two minute walk for us, so I thought we'd get up nice and sharp this morning, see what the crack is about, See if we can get maybe to the, one of the bands because one of the bands wants to go. See if we can get one of the bands in as well. Um, see what it's going to cost with. See what the place is like. So, anyway, guys, if I get the chance, I'll uh, I'll take you to the show you as well. But obviously, I, I don't know whether I'll be at the end because obviously it's like a private member's gym type thing. It's on the golf course itself as well. So, like I can see, it will be a pretty a private freaking thing to it, you know. So, if I get the chance, yeah, I'll try and sneakily. A bit of recording and show you what the place is like. I'm not even trying to record a workout if I can, but I'm not going that much hope of that. But you never know, we'll see. Anyway, guys, I'll see you soon. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a bit of equipment upstairs. We've got your black ball down, shoulder press, chest press. See this place up. Beautiful thing. Across the top up there, you've got some more equipment, cardio equipment. Downstairs, got a little bit of free weights. Got some cardio equipment. There's not a great deal here, but I'll get a workout then. Yeah, we'll get some of it done. There we are, yeah. There we go, guys. Yeah, okay, guys, we're just back from the workout. You may have seen footage in this or I may have pulled the footage back and do a different video on some of the work that's happening. I did manage to record a little bit of it, not loads because there was another member in there. Um, but when I was away from where he was with the train, I managed to do a little bit of recording. So I managed to get a few sets in there to record for um, What I'm going to do now is take make some of these. Um, I, was, I did say that I would do reviews on the bulk powder stuff. This is going to probably have to be a little bit different of a review, I suppose, because I'm not going to knock it up as a protein shit. I am basically making protein waffles. Obviously, this one is a little focus a little bit. Uh, the chocolate caramel flavour. Um, per 30 servings, we have 2.5 fats. We have 3 grams of carb and 22.5 grams of protein. So, I'm going to be knocking them up. Some of this stuff, and we'll give it a taste test, see how it is once I've uh, knocked it up, guys. Okay, okay, guys, so you can see there, it's knocked up. I've already made one rice curd over there. There's one negative I'll give it, which I can't see it for you, is that it's its fault because obviously I haven't got any weigh scales to weigh out the stuff I was putting in. But the put off for me is that the consistency of it at the minute looks like blancmange, and I can't freaking stand blancmange. But like I say, that could be just to do with the fact that I wasn't able to weigh out the um, eggs and the yogurt when I've done it. I just had to go by eye, which obviously will make a bit of a difference. Yeah, basically, to be the taste test once it's ready, because obviously that's how I do it. I cook them up. So uh, this is going to be for me like a real taste test because this is how I do my. I don't drink. I don't tend to drink the proteins. I tend to cook them up in different foods. So this to me is like my, it's a real taste test for me. If it tastes really good in a waffle, which is what I normally do is either waffles or pancakes or something like that, then it's ideal. I will do, because I did say I would, I will do one where I'll knock it up as a milkshake for those that do make themselves 
protein shake so I will do that and give it a review I'll do it in this same video I'll put it in with this video um, so that you get an idea of like for those that do like to make themselves protein shakes what it tastes like as a, as a protein shake but the real taste test to me is this I cook with the stamp stuff I make me protein waffles I'll make protein pancakes I'll make protein cookies so this to me is a proper taste test guys I'm gonna let you know how it tastes once it's ready okay but it's in there now as you can see steam it away as soon as that green light comes on I'm ready to go get yourself another one banged in there and I'll show you once it's made and then we'll give it a taste test guys there it is guys that's the finished product a meal fit for a king I have underneath in here I have some uh, blueberries in here with a little bit of sauce a little bit of just a low fat um, toppy sauce on the top we have a bit of peanut butter to give us some fats we obviously have a 30 cent less squirty cream we have the raspberries and a tiny little bit of the chocolate sauce on the top just to make it that flavour so let's see what this is actually like yeah guys let's see what it's like there we go guys here's a proper taste test for you God, mate. something that looked like blancmange which don't put us off the actual thing in the first place but tastes fine when you're cooking it up it it doesn't seem to like hold a strong amount of flavor to them but I guess I can definitely taste that very very slight thing to it it makes it really nice I've got to admit guys Bulk powders and my protein probably on par with each other for how that stuff is. Now how it's gonna taste when it put it into it as a um, protein shake, I don't know. But that is really nice, yeah. It has a really nice flavour to it. Strong thing to the chocolate, very slight thing to the sort of caramel style thing to it. Really nice guys, get a thumbs up from me. Definitely see another approval guys. Try this stuff yourself. If you have already, let us know in the comments what you thought of this stuff. Tell us if there's any other flavours that you think really are nice from bulk powders that are worth getting a look at. Because it'll be interesting to find out. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Okay guys, uh, I'm not going to be doing probably much recording today as such. It's really difficult to so we went in the town centre. Um, and town centres are town centres. I would kind of see the damn thing before so there's not going to be much to, to record for you today, so I will record bits and bobs, especially if I have anything to eat over there. Um, but um, it's just a film set, you know. You know what I will tell you is that, for those, because obviously I still haven't told you where we actually are on this little vacation we are. But this place away is a minute, it's half an hour from where we actually are. And this is Norwich Town Centre, it's a huge town centre. Yeah. It's the biggest one we've been told around these parts, so we've we'll come here to have a good look around. Yeah, because that's what my wife and my wife does, it's the look of the shop and what I is. So we're doing their thing first before we do anything else. Yeah, we're all going to do plenty of other things while we're around for today. It's basically a day for them to go into town and have a look around and see the different things. So we're in Norwich town centre today. Like I say, I'll show you little bits and bobs every now and again if there's anything worth actually looking at. But if not, you won't get much footage today, which you'll probably be thinking to yourself, that bloody Christ. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks all for watching. I'll catch you soon. Guys, it's somewhere else. I think it is huge. It's inside of a church. It's just an antiques thing with loads and loads of different friggin' antiques from years ago and that. Just amazing, amazing. This is the type of thing that I really do enjoy looking around places like this. Seeing some of the old style goodies from yesterday and that. So I'm going to have fun walking around here guys, I'm going to have fun walking around here.
the outside of that place that we're talking about. It's a massive, big thing to it. And there was some absolutely marvellous yeah in there. And I actually managed to get myself. I've been after a brown leather jacket for a while in the water of fortune. And I managed to pick myself up with one. There we go, guys. That's what it looks like. It's absolutely spot on. It's obviously nice and short and clean, but it doesn't matter. It's, yeah, that's all we went like. So there we go, guys. Check this out of that thing. That's how it is. We're we'll good, guys. Like as per normal, we'll get ourselves a nice little Costa. But this time around, I've gone for a skinny mocha. I'm gonna try the skinny mocha. And obviously, hey, what can I say, guys? I am on holiday. Please allow me this little indulgence. It, it is a brownie, yes, I love me brownies, so I'll get myself a nice little brownie here as well. We're going to enjoy this, guys. We are going to go somewhere for something to eat later on properly. This is just a snack now to get us through. I have had any lunch at all. I'm not going to really be getting any lunch at all. I have got some protein things with us, so I may end up having something like that to get us through to, to boil some protein up. But this, for now, skinny mocha, maybe brownie. We'll get us through for a while, guys. Guys, look at this thing for a weird picture. Oh, <laughs> it worked the same for you as what it does for us, but that is just weird. Weird the way it does that. There's another nice looking thing here, guys. It's uh, Norwich Castle. So, it's another place I've really well. I've never been to Norwich before in my life. I've never really travelled that much of England, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, but it's nice to see that a, a big structure like this right in the middle of the city centre itself which is canny because Newcastle's keeping that at the bottom end out of the way this is right basically almost smack dead centre of the whole thing so it's pretty good you know it's got a good layout of other things around it yeah so it's nice we're going to go up and have a look see what it's see what's Come and visit, guys. You know, it's really, we've really sort of enjoyed being here the other day. Got another couple of hours to go before we're going for something to eat, and then uh, once we've done that, we're probably going to sort of heading back towards where we're staying and seeing from there. But you know, guys, really enjoying it today. It's been a nice thing. Like I say, I haven't showed you much footage because it's a, it's a town centre, and the town centre is a town centre. You know, so I'll catch you soon, guys. Guys, that's the first plate there. You can see it's nice and full with the thing. Macaroni cheese. This is um, a pasta bacon mess, as it's called. We've got chips, samosa, an onion ring underneath there. A little bit of thing because I'm not into sushi at all. A little wrap. And I can't remember. Oh, that's like a pork stuff and a couple of bits of garlic bread it's the first stuff I mean, we can see what I get after this one but this place it's called Cosmo Authentic World Kitchen guys there's plate number two a little bit more sushi to try because I actually quite enjoyed that one I was very surprised so I'm going well I'll try a different one again got a little bit of chicken here with breaded got a few ribs Cheesy balls, a bit of turkey, and back here, the sweet and sour chicken. So we're going to give these a try, see what they like, and a couple of meatballs as well. Good okay, guys, with plate number three, got some more turkey, some more pork, some more chicken in here. Got some more of the sushi. Sorry, Chris Jones, but it ain't 30 rolls minimum. I'm having four rolls. So. Sorry about that guys, uh, we've got some shredded duck there as well. There we go, for your plate number three. Here we go guys, I warned you I'm a dessert fiend. I really do like my desserts, it's been something that's been a plague of my fucking life. So we've got all sorts. Obviously we've got to grow with the brownie, without a shadow of a doubt. This is a big bit of eating mess. We've got a bit of ice cream with a few little bits in it to try. And like a custard slice style thing and a chocolate thingy and we've got some pineapple hidden underneath here 
There we go, guys. And a bit of carrot cake as well, just for the healthiness, you know, because I'm, I'm going to be healthy. There we go, guys. That's what I'm having now. Let's see if I can get through all of this. Good evening, guys. So we're back now from Norwich Town Centre. Had a really nice day there. And as you see, the meal was a big, big ass meal. And no, I didn't manage to finish all the dessert. I couldn't do it. It was just too much. Yeah. Uh, and if you're being honest with you now, I'm regretting eating as much as what I did. That's what this little part about, you know, it's... Yeah, I don't know how many other guys get this way. But I've honestly got to say, having overindulged today, um, and enjoying it at the time I was doing it. I'm going to be wrong, thoroughly enjoyed it at the time I was doing it. I'm now really regretting it. In more ways than one. Um, obviously, I'm regretting it in the fact that I now feel sort of pretty bad about what I've done. I feel guilty as hell. I know that if the barn was open right now, I would go and have another work just to try and burn some of this off. As even though we went pretty much all day without eating, you know, you saw that we just had basically a little bit in Costa, and that was it. Went right the way through to five o'clock that night when the place reopened that we wanted to go to. You've seen the food that I had there, but we had to wait till five o'clock at night to do that. And that was from sort of basically going almost from that morning where I had the sort of the big breakfast that you would have seen. So, you know, I, I saved all the calories, I saved a shitload of calories to Len, but I still managed to go way over on my fats, which I, I was expecting. I knew it was going to happen. I know it's going to happen pretty much on a regular basis because I do want to enjoy the holiday. But I'm also at this minute in time really regretting it and really feeling a little bit down on myself. Because I just feel so guilty for doing it. You know, I have a really bad thing with this guilt. Uh, and the second part of it is to do the fact is that my body is burning up like something not right because it's having to try and break down and digest this food so my body is heating up and heating up and heating up and it's taking out so much to go I'm, I'm sitting up on the veranda right now just trying to keep cool because my body is literally just absolutely burning up my stomach is so hot and absolutely solid and it's trying so hard to break this down and, and burn it you know, and turn it into whatever fuel it needs um, it's just the guilt, it's, honest to goodness, it's the guilt. And I know it's going to end up playing on my mind every day. Yeah. And then I'll go back on Sunday. And I, I want to use the word if, but it's a case like that. That if is like, I know it's going to go up. I know for a fact it's going to go up. And that's what's going to make us feel even worse is if it's gone up by four, five, six kilos or above, I'm going to feel real shit. I mean, I'm going to really feel like shit. Yeah. But I want to be able to enjoy this holiday. I want my family to be able to enjoy this holiday, not having to worry about, look, we can't eat out here, we can't do this, we can't do that because we need to come back to this place so we can eat a bit more healthily. I'll see your dad can eat a bit more healthily. I, I didn't want that for them, you know holiday is about enjoying yourself it's about everybody having fun yeah. I don't consider what I do as a sacrifice anymore you know it's my way of living and I enjoy my way of living now you know it took us a good way when I first started doing it over a year and a half ago I would say it nearly took us a good three four month or maybe even more before I got settled into what I was eating and the way I was eating to the point now where I do enjoy it, I do, I do, it's become second nature, it's become my way of living, and I love it, I love how I live, yeah. I feel so good, considering like, I was sort of like, when I first started, I was probably over 16 and a half stone, you know, looked like shit, felt like shit, looked half decent when I was in clothes and I was breathing in, because I looked big, if I took the clothes off, I looked like a bag of shit. 
No, I'm not trying to say I look great now because I know I don't. I've got, still got a long way to go. But I'm in a lot better shape now than what I was back then. So what Woody says, even though I know it's not going to be that bad, is, is putting on a lot of body fat over this week. Uh, and the guilt I'm going to have from that. But I don't want to spoil a holder for, the, for these guys. You know, They deserve to have a good time. And that's what I'm determined to do. It means I've got to sacrifice a little bit to to do that, to make sure we'll have a great time, to make sure we'll have fun. And then when I get back, I've got to kick my own arse even harder. Then that's what I, that's what I have to do, and that's what I will do. Yeah. It's, but I just thought I'd let you know and see if there's anybody else out there that feels way. Maybe you do, and maybe you thought you were the only one that felt that way. Like, yeah, you've got, if you do do something with your family to over and let you overindulge that a little bit. That you're the only one you feel guilt that you feel guilty that has these sort of bad reactions and then feels like shit for it. And let me tell you, you're obviously not, because I feel like that. And if I happen to be the only one, shit, <laughs> that's not good. That's not good at all. But if it is, then that's the way it is, you know. I have to live with that. It's me. It's how I am. But I just wanted to share this little thing with you just to let you know. Because I, I don't want you thinking at all. It's a, for me, it's just a doddle to come with you and just eat like a pig and just and throw it all away and not care. Because I do care. I'm, I'm right now caring a lot that I feel like I've overindulged. Now, I'm hoping that what it actually does is it hits me metabolism hard, fires it up gets it going, it starts to friggin boom, 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 fire on all cylinders again because I know for a fact that it would have slowed right down because I've been on this cycle of, I don't really call it dieting because it's not a diet, it's a, it's a different way of life, but to bring me body weight down or to bring the body fat down, I've sort of had to cut right back on the calories in order to do that and I've been doing it for sort of a year and a half and I know that my body probably needs that chance to to kick start the metabolism game to get it going again to get everything firing on all cylinders then I can cut back again or go back to the way it was again and hopefully it'll start to drop from the body fat again that's all I can hope for right now but you gotta remember guys I'm a, the older generation now I'm coming up towards 46 years of age I'm not a 20 year old, my body doesn't fire the same way as a 20 year old does, doesn't recuperate the way a 20 year old's body does. You know, so I don't have the metabolism of a 20 year old anymore. For me, it's going to be a lot harder, but I'm still going to do it. You know, I'm hoping this will help not be a total hindrance. But I guess at the end of the day, that's what we're going to find out when all this comes to push and shove. We're going to find out if this does work. And helps to kickstart my metabolism, kickstart my body into to burning fat again, or whether it actually just puts us right back. You know, I have to go from square one and start the fucking game. I guess we're going to find out soon, guys. But anyway, comment down below and let us know if you've had any of these same, same issues, same problems, same thoughts, um, so that I don't feel like I'm the only one. It would be nice to know your opinions on it, see what you think. See what you've got to say. And guys, this is the end of day two. I'm going to go spend some time with my family. Probably go in the hot tub soon. It's the end of day two. Hopefully I'll see you in day three. This is the Bearded Wolf. And for now, I'm out, guys. Bad Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf.